Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here today to do a jewelry jar unboxing live. Woo! It's a big one. It is a big one. There's a bit of a glare from my window, but I really wanted the natural light, so I've got this big old jewelry jar to unbox. Um, but I want to say hey to everybody. I am live, so I do have some friends in the chat. Um, Jeff and Lydia are there. Hello, you guys. And I'm sure some more people will be popping in. Yep, there they are. Hey, Carol. Um, so yeah, hello. My name is Margaret. And if you are new here, my channel is all about making and saving money. One of the ways I like to make money is to resell jewelry on eBay and Etsy. And a great way to find pieces to resell is from jewelry jars that I pick up from Goodwill, Salvation Army. Sometimes I'll get um, you know, like grab bags of jewelry, things like that, garage sales. This jar, believe it or not, was $12.99 for this big old mamma jamma. So um, I can't remember when I bought it because it's in my, like, I have a hoard of, uh, of jars that when I buy them, I just like hoard them until I have time to un unbox one. So yeah. So, oh, I have a sale. Okay. <laughs> so hello, everybody. And first, <clears throat> I'm going to warn you in advance, I am. I have been sick as a dog. I am on the mend, but I may have to mute every now and then for coughing because I still have a bit of a, the gunk is still there. But I thought, hey, I'm gonna come say hey. It'll make me feel better, right? Okay, so I'm gonna say hey in the chat real quick and then we'll, we'll dive into this big old drawer, see if I can't make my $12.99 back. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, so yeah, hi, Jeff. Jeff's being sassy as usual. <laughs> um, Hello, Jessica, and the Julie Thrifty Paper Garden is there. Hi, Nancy. Hello, the other Margaret is there. And Tammy and Diane, hello, hello. KM Riggs, Rip and Resellers, and Lori, hi. Oh, you're having a yard sale. Hello, oh, thank you, Sheila. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so one of the things, and I have another video, I'll link it. Um, when I buy jewelry jars, I won't just buy any old jars because a lot of times you'll see they're just full of like Mardi Gras beads or like shell beads. Sometimes shell beads will sell though. But I always try to look to see if I see something that will make my money back. Now $12.99, it won't take much to make that back. Um, but there, you know, there's some pretty cool looking things there. That right there. Then there, it looks like an ornament maybe with like a baby bear or something on it. Okay. So I just realized the last time I did a jar, I swore I was going to open it first and then detangle everything. And guess what? I forgot. Because <laughs> the last time, remember we had this big mass of stuff that was just like tangled all up and we couldn't get, oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> so, all right. Got my handy dandy scissors. This is another thing I always pick up at garage sales, estate sales, scissors. I got these scissors for a buck. Yeah, my scissors always vanish. If you're a reseller or a mom or a dad or have other people that live with you or just forget where you put things, <laughs> it's always good to have more scissors. That's a pro tip right there. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, got more friends. Hello, Caroline from the Celtic Traders is here and Al. Oh, thank you for the first thumbs up. Yes, Kay Riggs. I'm trying to find balance because I know I get so like, I barrel forward with merch, and then I'll barrel forward with something else. Thanks, Nancy. Look, I was I was going between two, and I got these from jewelry jars. <laughs> I got this one and this one from a jewelry jar, so I was like trying to figure out which one would look better. So I went with this one. <laughs> I was primping for y'all today. <clears throat> See, I told you, Caroline. Her hubby's always taking her her stuff, her scissors and stuff. Okay, so here we go. Where do I want it? I want it over here next to my water. And I have, okay, so two things that I have with me um, are I have my magnet, which I finally found. It was stuck to something, of course, because it's a magnet. And I have my loop so I can see any markings and things like that because I'm getting older. And the, the little, the, how am I going to do this? Maybe I want it over here. And I have my tub over here to put everything in. So here we go. Let's dive in. So the jar was $12.99. I get a bright pink scissors. Oh, yeah. Your, my husband won't think twice about it being pink. He doesn't care. <laughs> he won't care. All right, so earrings I'm going to set to the side so I find the mate. Oh, look, there's the mate. So we've got these sort of like 
gunmetal gray hoops right there. Sometimes things will go into a lot, so I'll say, you know, it's gonna, I'll put it into a lot of jewelry to sell. Um, let's see, this is interesting. So this has got, looks like wooden ovals, and these, these are kind of cool, this like mesh type ribbon separators. That's pretty interesting. That's a long necklace. Very interesting. Again, not my style, but it doesn't have to be my style, right? So there's that. Very cool. All right. Hey, hey. She listens. I do that too. Barreling through, barreling through things. Yes. Okay, another earring. All right. So here we go. This looks like also either wood or it's trying to be wood because I see a seam. Yep, I see a seam. Wood doesn't generally have a seam if it's like a card wood bead. So now these are plastic that is made to look kind of like wood. So those will probably end up in a lot right there. Hello. Got more friends jumping in. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button. Why not? Burn a calorie. <laughs> That's what the bona fide hustler likes to say. Okay, so here we, oh, this is kind of fun. This is another necklace that's got, looks like just a black beads and mesh. I feel like I'm really close. I can't get a good angle today for y'all. Maybe it's because they're really long. So it's got this black chain. <laughs> Very long necklace today. That's kind of cool. Oh, no, I'm holding it at the wrong spot. There, there's the back. Duh. There we go. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Can you tell I don't wear this kind of jewelry? <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I don't see any marks on that. Like, sometimes it'll... And marks don't... I mean, this is one thing, too. <clears throat> marks don't always matter that much, you know? Some people will ask me, like, well, how do you sell unmarked jewelry um if people are looking for a specific maker well well yeah if it's got a maker put the maker but sometimes it doesn't matter sometimes people are just looking for a style you know and that's cool that's what they want my nose is itching i'm trying not to touch it i'm gonna it goes there um jessica says take my mom thrifting today to give her an idea of what to look for I found some sterling or some silver earrings for 25 cents and a stocking cross stitch there oh yay so, oh, I love selling cross-stitch kits. Stocking ones can go really for really good money. Okay, so this little, it's got a kind of like a moon, like a tiger's, what is that, a cat's eye? A moon glow. <laughs> I always get them swip swapped. So it's got this little bead in there, blue bead. I can hold up so you can see it. And the chain, I may not care much about the, the bead, but if the chain is silver, then I'll save it for something else, right? So what I'll do. Look at my magnet. This is just my first go to see. Okay, so it's not attracting to the magnet. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's silver, but it might be. So that's the first test that I do, and then I'll look it over <laughs> to see. Because yeah, I mean, whoop, there goes the lid. Um, yeah, if I don't like the pendant, sometimes I'll save it, save the chain for something else. I don't think it is because I'm seeing. Like on this lobster clasp, it looks like the coating is kind of scratching off. So it could be something else just kind of coated with a silver silver coating, right? Okay, then we've got these big giant gold hoops. Nope, not my style. That's okay. How are we doing it? Oh, hey, Tessa. All right. Oh, that's a bracelet. That's not an earring. That's cute. It's got the little swallow. Isn't that a swallow? That's what you... <coughs> Pardon me. That kind of little bird. I think that's a swallow. That's cute. I don't see any marks, and I think it's backwards, honestly. There we go. Yep, it was backwards. <laughs> there now. Can you see it? There. Cute. I don't see a maker's mark, but that's okay. It's so tiny, too. I wonder if it would fit on my dainty little wrists. It might. How's everybody doing today? Did you guys go out garage sailing or thrifting or anything? Do you guys, are you, are you still, look at me, I'm trying this jewelry on, this is bad. <laughs> it fits, yoo-hoo. Um, yeah, oh, hey, Bonafide Hustler, is that the Bonafide Hustler? It is the Bonafide Hustler, hey. Went to garage sales today, six bags of jewelry, thought about you. You didn't, did you buy it? Did you buy it, Chris? That's awesome, hopefully you can do it. Oh, we've got a rosary. Margaret says a lady gave me 
a store plastic bag of jewelry found a Dottie Smith seashell belt buckle. Awesome. You can't find anything on them. It, sometimes it won't matter, though. If you can't find one, like it. Price it high, for sure. So let's see. I need more exciting name, Al says. Chris, you got scared? That's like me if I see cameras and stuff or I don't know other stuff like that. Electronics, I run. All right, so we've got a plastic rosary, which will probably just end up in my rosary box. <laughs> Jewelry is not my cheddar forte. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Everybody's got their thing, right? And that's cool. <laughs> Snowing today, Valerie says. Oh, my gosh. So I went out today. I didn't find any jewelry, but this is still in the back of my car. I bought a leather, okay, it's a, what do you call it, apothecary chest. But it's got, you know that like, Italian leather top when they when they top the, the furniture, sometimes on the coffee tables and stuff? So it was like leather topped and sided. And then all the pulls um, on the apothecary chest were these little fists holding like a, a stick or a baton or something. So all the pulls are like that. So when Randy gets it out of the car, pictures and share, I do an unboxing of furniture. Look at my, uh, whatever. I talked the lady down. I got it for 200 bucks. I mean, it was still pricey, but I really liked it. I really liked it. So I keep coming in with furniture for me, right? But I, I didn't find any jewelry. So, hey, hey. Yeah, if y'all found something, share in the chat. Okay, we've got some more big hoopy earrings. I'm not even bothering because a lot of times, like, I'll check. Well, yeah, they look like, oh, they're gold. But I'll check the post. And I know sometimes they can have surgical steel, but generally when I find gold earrings, the posts are also gold as well. So maybe I should check just in case. No, oh my gosh, see, magnetic, so not gold. Um, we have not had snow in years. I think James was two. So here's this leather-y, so leather, maybe, leather. Um, I keep saying, um, y'all have to like, I need to put a nickel in the jar every time I say, um, I, it's a bad habit. I just started it. So I, yeah, I don't think this is real leather. It's got some wires in it. So it's adjustable and it's, it needs really a cleanup. So this will probably just go into a lot. Um, hello. And what, um, where's my nickel jar? I need a nickel jar. <laughs> oh, this is cute. This looks like this is our school mascot colors, this blue color. I bet some on a um um oh my gosh uh, I am going to put this on a local garage sale site because I could see some little girl who goes you know to our schools all the schools all because I'm, I'm in a small town so they all have the same color and the same mascot basically it's the Mustangs and then the like the elementary ones are the Colts or the Broncos so they're all horse related in our town anyway so Mustang blue so this is really cute. That's that little bear we were looking at. And it's from Fashion Craft 2008 for you. What is it though? Is it just like a little bear? Oh, it's an ornament. You can see when you pull it back, it's like a little ornament like that. That's cute. Okay. So do we think we have found another nickel? She says, did I miss one? Uh oh, have we found anything that will make our $12 back? Not exactly yet. I'm not sold yet. So here's another one that will probably end up in a lot. It's in pretty good shape. The leather straps are nice, that purple leather straps. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, we have not had snow in forever, you guys. We have not. It's been years. Oh, this is nice. Okay, oops, what was that? Something fell, I think it was, yeah, it was an earring. So this is on a stretch, you can't see that, a stretchy string, but then it's got these little medallions on it. That just got Jesus and the Virgin Mary, and then on the back it says Amor. It's kind of nice, I kind of like it. So, there's that. That's kind of cute. I mean, I've seen you know the medallions like this kind of on just string or something, but this looks kind of nice. I like it. The brown and the blue looks good together. One witch lady says, Hey, I'm in Canada, my city had very little snow last year. Really? Wow, I always think of Canada as just. I'm sorry, I've got a hair right in my face. Just like galoshing through the snow. Is that what you call it? Galoshing through the snow? 
<laughs> what do you call it? I don't know. I wouldn't even know what to do in the snow. I'm afraid I would just freak out. <laughs> well, they shut the schools down here. If it gets too cold or freezes, the, sh the schools are shut down because they don't want people on the roads. They don't know how to handle themselves. Hi, Maggie. Hello, hello. Hi, Ben. This is made in China. It looks, yeah, leather. We've got this. This is genuine leather. And it's in pretty good shape. So this one will probably get sold. I'll put that up. This might this might make our $12.99 back, honestly, right here. It doesn't take much. Sometimes I'll challenge myself. One time I got that, it was like plastic beads, but they reminded me of uh, Mardi Gras or something, but they weren't really Mardi Gras colors. But I think I sold those for $9.99. So you never know. I've got a um, cough. Hang on one second. I'm looking in the chat. Galoshes would be the range, she says. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, and you live in igloos? Okay, okay, I can see it now. And you use your dog, dog sledding team to go to the thrift store. It's like me, right? I ride my horse to the thrift store. A friend of mine, Tracy, when she went to California, when she came back, this is in high school, college, when she came back, she said somebody asked her, where do you put your horse when you go to school? She's like, I've never been on a horse in my life. <laughs> All right, so we've got a watch. What brand is that? That is a carriage watch, which I, oh, it's an Indiglo. I used to always really, it's still glowing. Um, when Indiglo, nickel, when Indiglo came out, I thought it was so fascinating, right? Okay, next. Come on now. Come on up out of here and out of this jar. You know you don't want to stay in there. What do you want to stay in there for? All right, here we go. We have got a couple things that are tangled up. That's really interesting. I'm going to save that for next. Okay, so here we have, let's see. Oh, it, it reminds me of, you know, like Greek, the leaves that they wear on their hair, only they're wearing it around their neck. So this will sell. I could see this going for, I don't know how much, but again, there's no maker's mark, but that's okay. And of course, I don't really think it's, it's not gold gold for real. So we have people who cross the border in the summer expecting snow as soon as they come across. <laughs> I believe it. I would probably be that person. Where is the snow? Yep. <laughs> okay, this is really interesting. Okay, let's take a peek at this. Uh, it, the clo Wait till you see the closure. Okay, so here's this. So it's these flat tassels, and they run on this gold chain. And then look at the closure on this. It's got this ball I've never seen a closure like this y'all ever <laughs> and then it goes into the the ball goes into the hole there like that it clamps down now because it's not very secure I would be really surprised if it was really gold but it's so cool isn't it I think I could see myself wearing this honestly let me put it down here and see if it's magnetic it is not attracting the magnet which is Promising. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's gold. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't look at that. Just one more time. Let's just take a look at that one more time. Have y'all seen anything like this? <clears throat> They're not secure, one witch lady says. Yeah. Ten feet of snow, Virginia says. Yeah. They're not it doesn't look very secure, but it's very cool. I like that. I could see myself wearing that. Let's just do it. Oh, this is just came out of a jar, Margaret. It's not clean. It's just your neck. You're not sticking it in your ears or anything, so you're cool. Look, doesn't that look cute? That does look cute. Is it? There it is. Oh, no, that's Jupiter. Just Jupiter's doing its thing over there. Okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> if you're not watching this live, you're missing the chat. They're talking about polar bears in their garages and stuff up in Canada. We do get gators, y'all. We do. I'm telling you, we get gators in our pools and stuff. All right, this looks like it's probably a belt for not me because it's, I bet it would go around me maybe, but no. <laughs> all right, remember that one that we did when we were all measuring our neck circumference? <laughs> we're not going to measure our waist. I'm just not going to do that. All right, so we've got this long belt. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to take this necklace off now because it's bothering me. Hey, Mo. <laughs> I 
see more friends in the chat. Hi, hi. You'd wear it, Joe. I mean, Jeff, sorry. <laughs> I'm never going to hear the end of that one. All right, so that's cute. I think this would sell. I mean, this for sure would make our money back. So I think we've already made our money back. So now we're just digging in for fun. $12.99. That's what I paid for this jar. Oh, gosh. Don't be tangled. Not on that. How am I going to get this off? Oh, gosh. There. Haha. -ha. So we have an arm cuff. I'm not coming to your house to swim. Well, you'd see it in there before you jump in. <laughs> yep. Grizzly bears are up and reseller says, I don't, yeah. <laughs> So this will sell. That's pretty cool. Some people love those cuffs, those arm cuffs. And if you hold it that way, it looks like lady parts. <laughs> All right. Am I planning on selling these on e I am eBay and Etsy. Uh, if it is, <clears throat> pardon me, if, it, if it's vintage, I can sell it on both. If it's not vintage, it'll just go on eBay. Unless I put it in a crafter's lot, because then it's supplies, so you could sell that on Etsy as well. Supplies, vintage, or handmade. There. Okay, so this is a watch that is not working and will probably end up in a lot. I can keep the gators. Oh my gosh. And we're going camping next weekend at this state park called Mar uh, Martin Dye State State Park. And it's like the so one of the guys that's in our in our den, he does something for the uh, parks department where they count the gators in the, the like state parks and stuff. And he says, Mar Martin Dye State Park has got like the most gators per capita. And I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, and we're right by the water. <laughs> Last time we did, we were right on the water. Oh, I was so nervous. I was very nervous with all the gators. You can hear them at night, like uh, what they do, what, uh, the sound that they make. The it's like a chirping kind of sound or a, like, the young ones make a chirping sound, and the big ones make like a deeper sound. You can Google it. <laughs> okay, we've got a big mess. This is what this is. It's a big mess that will end up in a lot. This is a cute necklace that I was trying to get off because it's got this weird-looking elephant. But I'll get it off later. Look at that elephant. I'll sell him because there are people that love elephants. The funkier, the better. Julie says, a, lady, a local lady in the suburbs got bitten by a coyote in Minnesota. Camping in cabins? No, we're camping in tents. So, I don't know. Do, does pepper spray work on gators? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to cough again. Let me mute it. Here it comes. You couldn't hear that. So that looks like silver. Let me see if I can find that elephant again. I don't think so. It's kind of got a gold wash to it. If if you're if we're on the same thing, sometimes there's a delay on the chat. If you're talking about the, I can't. I'm gonna have to untangle it later. There's a bit of a gold wash to it. I don't think you can really tell on there. But I'll look at the tag. That's why I need more eyes. I need all your eyes to help me. Okay, no. All right. Chunk up is good luck. Okay. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, please don't be missing any stones. Oh, it looks good. Don't see any stones missing. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Look at it. Look at this lizard. It's a lizard. This lizard is cool. And he's pretty big, too. Like that big. This right here would make our money back. If we're just trying to make $12.99 back. This one, I'll probably put him up. Depending on what I find, like him, I'll probably put him up you know, about 14 bucks, 14.99 or so, maybe more. Let's see the elephant, the elephant, maybe my monitor makes him look so, yeah, he, he's got a bit of a gold wash to him. I guess I could have held my magnet up to it. I didn't hurt anything, right? No, it's very, oh look, it came off of course, now that I'm trying to mess with it. Yeah, there we go. So lizard is very cool. Uh oh, something terrible. Yeah, oh, we love camping. <clears throat> Hang on. Oh dear. Coyotes. Yeah. We get coyotes too. This one, this park is it's so close to Louisiana. It might as well just be in Louisiana. It's cool because we pick up um Cajun radio stations when we're there. So that's always fun listening to Zydeco and Cajun music. Alright, so then there's this one that's like this rolled what do you call that? Raffia grass or something like that. With a shell. I this will probably end up in a lot. 
it's got nice, I mean, some nice bead, little beads and stuff. Again, probably go into a lot. And we've got this gold tone chain. Long, long, long. Look how long it is. Oh, here's a here's a clasp. Maybe it's supposed to jump. Even so, like wherever the loop is for this thing. Here we go. So you could still loop it. Anyway, this is crazy long. Somebody will love it. Somebody will love a crazy long necklace. Hello, 54 viewers. If you haven't said hey in the chat, say hey. So I can see you're here. If you're watching later, leave me a comment down below because it's always fun to see who came. I always find out later, oh, I watched your such and such video. I'm like, dude, leave me a comment. I can't see. I can't see you there. I don't know if you're talking to me, Jeff. Are you talking to me? Did I take my meds? My cold meds? I almost went to the doctor. I made an appointment and I didn't go because I thought, I'll feel better. They're just going to tell me to take some Sudafed and go to bed. And I've been feeling better, so I'm just still kind of sick. All right, so that one is just a chain that will go into a lot. Hi, hi. Hi, Nelly. Long time no see. All right. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, keep going, though. So here we've got, I love this green. Kind of like that acid green. I like, can y'all see that very well? The color's not showing up as well. It's kind of getting cloudy outside. Maybe that's why. So there's that. Hello from Wisconsin. Hi, Diane. I can see you. <laughs> do, let's see. Do I have a box of jewelry you said to yourself to keep? I, are you asking if I keep? I keep lots of it. <laughs> oh, that's something else I got too. I'm going to unbox it though. I got a new jewelry. It's like a, it's kind of like a jewelry mirror thing. And I, I did splurge and buy this thing. It costs a lot. But I, I, in my defense, I never buy anything for myself, other, you know, unless it's thrifted and stuff. So I did. I bought it. It's from Pottery Barn. It's Pottery Barn Teen. <laughs> but it's the Mirror of Erised. If you know what that is, it's from Harry Potter. And it's this ginormous mirror. And it opens. And then inside you can like store all your jewelry. I, I haven't uh, opened the box yet because I want to do it. I want to unbox it because it's going to be really awesome. And we're going to hang it in the bedroom. It's going to be cool. Okay. <laughs> so there's this. And then I can put all my jewelry. Because right now my jewelry is just like thrown in boxes. <laughs> it's not organized at all. It's horrible. What? Oh, okay. They're like, bad girl. I know I spent so much money on it. But I never spend money on myself. So Randy was a bit surprised too. Like, okay. Are you sure? I'm like, I, I, this will not be regretted. At all. <laughs> I will not regret this purchase. No buyer's remorse from me. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this will make our money back for sure, too. Look at this cool necklace. Okay, there is a mark, but let's take a look at it first. So it's got these medallion sort of hammered looking pieces. And then, and it was on back order, too, y'all. I just got here. I ordered it months ago. It is so awesome. Okay, so here's this. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on it because it, it's embarrassing how much I spent on it. But then, you know. Okay, so there's this cool necklace. There's a closure. And let's see. I think that says what I think it says, but I'm going to look again real close. This says, I'm not it says Ann Dick. I don't know that maker. I would remember that name. But this brand is Ann Dick. I'm not, not making it up. So Jeff, don't be, don't, don't be mean. You can kind of see it there. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, hey, hey, Miss Trinidad. So this is a really cool necklace that we just found. So that is, I'll have to look up that maker because it looks pretty cool. Just the, look how, because in, in between the pieces, it's not using jump rings. That's something when you're looking for jewelry, look for unusual stuff like that. The way it's finished. <clears throat> Um, let's see another piece for ballroom dancing. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so next, this piece is going to the, be set to the side because it's got some glass, some nice glass beads. And my sister, she's probably got glass beads coming out of her ears because she's been making wind chimes with silver, silver plate and silver cutlery and glass beads and stuff like that. She's so creative. 
Anyway, so this will go to the side for her. My sister, she's going to come soon. She's going to be coming for Thanksgiving. I can't wait. <laughs> Quick search on Etsy. It sells for a decent amount. Yay, thank you. Thanks for looking that up. Let's see. Did I miss anything else in the chat? If I missed your, a question or anything, just pop it in there again. Okay, so then this necklace has got all these twisty, twisty, like rhinestone bits. I'm going to cough again. Pardon me. Hi, Donna McLean. <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right, uh, what do we have next? Okay, this is cool. Hang on, let go. You let go. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You go over there. So these birds, I can't remember what they're called, but they have a name. Oh my gosh, what are they called? They're like that Southwest style. Somebody in the chat's gonna know. I just know it. These, these birds. Oh, what are they called? There's a name for them. They're not Thunderbirds, and they're not Thundercats either. So this is a belt with these, oh gosh, what are these birds called? I'm looking. Um, where are you posting these items so I can look at them? I, I'm gonna be posting them on eBay and Etsy, but if you see something that you want, let me know, message me, because I will. it might take me a little bit of time to get them put up. Knowing me, I've got a backlog of stuff, for sure. You know, Elaine did fine. They did not flood where she was, because she's up in the hill. She's actually in Kerrville, which is an hour past, about an hour past San Antonio to the west. So they did okay. She did okay. So there's that. Eagle shield, Miss Trinidad says, maybe. Let's see. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we've got another arm cuff. Hang on, you go over there. And we've got things tangling up. Don't tangle. That's not nice. There. Another one of these. You're wearing your Thundercats t-shirt. I'm channeling your Thundercats t-shirt. All right, next. Oh, did you like? Oh, good, good, good. Donna got the ornament box when I was doing my, my D stash. My room is coming together, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm going to probably have to do some. Mm, I, may, I may do a couple of jewelry D stashes because I do still have a lot. Hello, old to new treasures. Hello. It's okay. Where's your daughter going? She's going to the airport, she said. Okay, so here we have got half of a daughter, I'm guessing a mother daughter necklace. And it is from Claire's. What else have we got up here? Because I just sort of dumped everything because it was tangled. There we go. It's kind of cute. It's got three rings. There is a maker's tag, so let's see what the tag says. Aha, this is our this is Arbon. See if you can see that, which is not necessarily a jewelry company, which is unusual. Arbon sells like face creams and things. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's like two R's backwards or something. So that's Arbon. Selling these so I can look them up again. She's um, it's going to go on eBay and Etsy. And if you are not on um wanting to wait, uh, because I will sell it to you if you see something you like. So there, all right, so there's that. And it's not really attracting the magnet, so I'm gonna look close. It's 1 20th 10 karat gold filled. So it's gold filled, which does not necessarily mean that it's worth a ton of money at all, but it's nice, makes it pretty. So there's that. <coughs> Here comes my coughing again, apologies y'all. Okay, let's have a sip of water. How about that? Two A's. Mm. That would make sense, Melissa, right, since it's Arbonne. Ooh, what am I grabbing here? It's a mystery pouch. It feels round. It feels like a compact, maybe. Here, I'll let you see first. What is it? What could it be? I have no idea. It came out of the jar. Oh, cool. The back of it says Holly. Do we have any Hollies in the chat? It's got two hearts. Okay, let's open it. What's inside? Oh, it's a mirror. Ta-da! That's cute. I don't know any hollies. Well, maybe I know a holly. Here. Cute, right? Little mirror. No, no, no snow in Toronto. Okay. <laughs> do I ever take beads from necklaces and sell them? I don't, but I know some people who do. So 
there are people that do that. Oh, look, there's the mother side of the mother-daughter necklace. I still will probably lot it up because you can see on the back where it's got some wear, you know what I mean? So probably just going to lot that up. Ralph Lauren, ooh, Ralph Lauren mark with one backwards. Yeah, that's what it's going to look like. My, my granddaughter wants it. Miss Trinidad, what is it? I missed it. Okay, then there's this really cute leather strap with a little butterfly and beads. That's pretty cute, actually. That's cute. Then there's this pin with a moving butterfly. Compact is probably a bridesmaid's gift. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Do we already have the mate for this? Nope, there it is. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Ta -da. Oh, this now. I was like, wait, wait. Okay. I'm, I'll catch the conversations halfway through in the chat. All right, here we have an anklet, which I need to go through and find all my anklets because I heard they're supposed to be the hot thing next year. People wearing anklets again. Or is it this year? Oh, gosh, am I behind? I may be behind. <laughs> Ta-da! Little, I think it's an anklet. Maybe bracelet, anklet? I'll have to try it on and see. Okie dokie, next. Up. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Look, we still have this much to go. <clears throat> That's cool, too. We have, this is still sitting here, so let me do this. A little locket. Ta-da. Yeah, oh, you had a cold. You still have the cough. Ah, uh, yeah, my boys are like, when are you going to be better, Mommy? It's like, well, I'm feeling better, but this cough is going to be here for a bit, so be prepared. So a little locket, and then this is Claire's as well. And it says Mother on it. There we go. Hello, hi Gina, or Jean, Gina. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, next we've got some big blue beads. <laughs> this big <clears throat> beaded ball blue necklace. Yes, and it is very long. And it, oh, it's, oh, it's Talbot's. Okay, there are people that look for Talbot stuff. Yay, so that will probably go up. Because it's Talbot's. If it was if it wasn't marked Talbot's, I might just put it in a lot. But I know there are people that look for Talbot's jewelry, so cool deal. And then we've got this really cool intricate cross. This will go up. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna make my money back easy peasy. There's some really cool pieces in here. This cool cross, just a silver tone. It's not any fancy, it's not silver silver or anything. Marge Simpson beads, right? But she had short ones, but I guess it's cool. Were hers blue or were they green? I thought hers were Maybe her dress was green. Her dress was green. Her beads were. I don't know what color now. <laughs> the co Oh, yeah, the color's nice. Ooh. Okay, you get to come to the side. And you get to get off there. We've got a tangle happening. Okay. We've got some earrings here. Is that a fish? Oh, it's an owl. Oh, those, are, those will sell. Okay. Those will sell. Little owl earrings with leaves. Especially with the Twin Peaks coming back out. Has Twin Peaks started up again, the new se season? If you guys know Twin Peaks, one of the things they say is owls are not what they seem. So there, yeah. The owls are not what they seem. And um, this jar I got from the Goodwill. And this one I paid $12.99 for, which is almost unheard of even here. Yes, yes. Oh, oh owls are cool. Definitely. Okay, so next. This looks like another one of those long belts that people wear. I guess it could be a necklace. Is it a necklace or a belt? What do you think? Let me wrap it around my waist. Watch me start wearing necklaces. No, no, it's a necklace. <laughs> it's a necklace. It's just a long one. And I don't know this mark. It looks like a V or a TP, one or the other. That is the tag, the hang tag on it. So it's either a V or a TP. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I've been hearing some don't, um, haven't been doing that. But, and I know some of my friends that are in Jewelry Lovers are here. I have a group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. And we did a few hangouts with some of our members who buy lots off of eBay, like jewelry lots to resell and do really well with it. And sometimes even find gold in the lots, gold, silver, things like that. So it's something to think about. We have all our videos in our, you know, in our file section. So yeah, this is cool. So think about it. 
Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group. It's five bucks a month, but I think it's cool. We, we learn something new every single month. Last month, what was it? Oh, we were learning all about black. Black jewelry. <laughs> Jet and onyx and obsidian and stuff like that. And this month, it's bone and ivory. We're going to be learning all about bone and ivory. We've got more glass. This one is from my sister again. I'm going to be putting these to the side. Those are pretty. I could see those on her. She has a big wraparound deck on her house. I could see them hanging out there. That'd be cool. Where does other ones go? Yep. Pam says, I bought jewelry lots from eBay and did very well. Good. Yeah. I mean, some of our members, yeah, it was, they did good. They did good. <clears throat> I haven't done it. Maybe I should try one. I need more jewelry is what I need to, right? <laughs> Maybe I should try one. But yeah, it's really cool. So ne yeah, this month we're going to be talking all about bone, ivory, scrimshaw, the laws, how to identify it, all that good stuff. So that'll be cool. So there's this one. This one looks like it'd be like a mermaid necklace. What does that say? Does it say Claire's? That's Chico's. So this will go up because they're, again, just like with Talbot's, there are people that love their Chico's. And so it's almost cultish. <laughs> Some of the people I know that like Chico's really like Chico's. So there's that, right? I'll throw mermaid in the keywords too. I will have to try that in Florida. I haven't seen the jars anywhere. Yeah, some, some places have the bag, some places have jars. But then, yeah, if I didn't, I would, I would be going on eBay. Okay, so here's a, this one has to be a belt. It better, I hope it's a belt. Or else somebody tied up a belt to make it into a long, this is so heavy. Maybe it is a necklace, I don't know. Do I want to untie this? Maybe it's, a, okay, it must be a necklace, because I'm going to have to untie that. Look at this really cool necklace. <laughs> <laughs> or belt that goes on over the head, one or the other. <clears throat> Pam says, I found earrings in an eBay lot that sold for 100 bucks. That's awesome. One much lady, I can't wait for those discussions. That will be, oh, good, good, yeah. And I took a poll, or I put out a poll in the group to see, like, how you want the information delivered, you know, rather, because I've just been kind of doing a little bit of everything, you know, making, because I'll make graphics, and I'll make little informational pictures and stuff, and you know, and then I'm like, is this even what you like? Or do you just want, just let me make a video and be done with it. All right, these are cool. They are not silver, but I think they will still sell. They look, they have that, I don't, I don't think they are quite the same, are they? They're not the same. That's weird. They're both bamboo, but they're not matching. One, first of all, is smaller. These ones have got texture, and these ones don't. Okay. That's unusual. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's Chico sells fast for you, Daisy said. Oh, there's a jar. Okay. Too late, this says. What is that? Um, I guess it put something in there. Too late. Uh, I'm just going to leave that in there. It looks like a stretchy band that you put something. A watch in? Maybe. Uh -huh. It's interesting. I don't know what the story with that is. Is it glow in the dark? I think it glows in the dark. Okay, we'll have to look that up. How much is my, <coughs> pardon me, it's, it's $5 a month or 50 for the whole year. Totally worth it. Totally worth it, I think. <laughs> There's members in the group, ask them. Ask in the chat, they'll tell you. Maybe for a Fitbit? I don't know how you get the components in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the group in the chat, you can, say, you can be honest just to be like, no, man, <laughs> it blows. Or, honestly, I don't, I mean, it's not a big group. We don't have, we're, what, 100 and, 170, 180 members somewhere in there. But I kind of like it because we really get to know everybody and you know who to go to and you don't have anybody being snooty. June, there's no jewelry snobs in there. And everybody's learning. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. You won't hurt my feelings. It's okay. Everybody needs feedback. <laughs> All right. So there we go. These I will sell. I mean, these are some funky monkey earrings. Blingy. They look like, I can't think of the brand. There's a brand of costume designer jewelry that, that makes stuff like this. But it's 
it's not, this is not them. There's not a, I can't think of the name of it either. But there's a costume jewelry designer that sells for really good money that makes stuff like this. So there's that. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, the, the link's down below if you're interested in the group. So basically you have to go to my website and then you'll go join the group so I'll see that you did both. But there's, oh, I have a bunch of these. They're like these magnetic bracelet-y things that twist around like that. Um, and we do uh, like fun polls and things like that. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we did men's accessories. And then all of the, um, I didn't mean for this to turn into a pitch for the group, but all of the past hangouts that we've done are saved in the file section. So all the videos that we've done in the past and yeah. And I try to put out some still on my channel. So it's like, okay, this is kind of a taste of what we're doing. So if you're not like, oh, I just can't swing it, which I totally get. Some people just, you can't swing it. It's okay. So there's this really cool. It is a brooch, but also a pendant. But I could see this totally on like a, you know, your winter coat or something. It's really big and flashy. I kind of like it. I could see my grandmother wearing that. Or me. My grandmother was stylish. I don't mean that in like a, it looks like grandma-y, right? <laughs> you have to go back to the amber one. <clears throat> Found some earrings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love selling amber. Because <laughs> a lot of times people don't know what it is when you're buying it, right? A lot of times I found so much amber at garage sales that I, I just think that either they don't care or they don't know. One or the other. This is a big mess. I don't know. I'm going to have to detangle it. But it's a necklace. It's a big necklace mess. All right, we're still, we still have a ways to go, a little bit. What is that? Is that a ring? That looks cool. Okay, hang on. What have we here? Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. I'm still looking for the, the mate to these not matching bamboo earrings, which I thought were so cool. They could be in another jar. Sometimes that happens. If you have bought jars, multiple jars from the same store, sometimes you'll find an earring in one and then the mate's in another jar. So got to just stick it to the side. Let's see. A lot of times they don't know, especially at estate sales. Oh, I need a good estate sale. I haven't been to one in a while. Please remove foil for, wait, please remove protection foil. <laughs> Will do. All right. Uh, okay. More just loose earrings. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, this looks pretty. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hang on. It's going to go away. I am a firm believer. Oh, this is one of those doodads that you wear in your hair. Right? One of those, like, things. I'm not going to put it up. I'm just going to put that right over there. Yep. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello. Ulta News says, I just joined a few days ago. Learned so much already. Yeah, and, and then the cool thing is, like, a lot of the members know stuff. And, and I'm not a, at all a jewelry expert. There's things I know uh, some about. There's things I know a lot about. And then there's things that like, hey, well, let's learn this together. So like this month, it's we're going to learn about bone and ivory. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this cool uh, brooch, though. Isn't this cool? Okay, so here's this. It's got all these different stones in it. And then this is the backing. Very cool. I think we will have no problem making our $12.99 back. Would you say that's a butterfly? What would you say that? I don't think that's a butterfly. I would just have to put insect, butterfly, bee, maybe it's a bee, it's got antenna. Hmm. There's no maker's mark on it either that I can see. Very cool though, very, very cool. I need some fisherman's friends lozenges. <laughs> yeah, a beetle, yeah, possibly a beetle. Oh, this is a pretty green. Oh, I love that color green. Look at this. Oh. I just won't wear it though, but I love that green. Maybe he's just a fly. He could be. Okay. I can never find shirts this color, you know? Like I have the hardest time. If I found shirts this color, I wish this color was in because then I would just go buy them all. <laughs> all the shirts that are that green. <laughs> all right. So, some red hoop. I guess they're not exactly hoops, but they're, you know. Discs, I suppose. Digging deeper, what else have we got? Da, da, da. This is very colorful. A very colorful long necklace. 
with bits that, okay, come on now. There. At first I thought it was, it looks like a planet, right? That one looks like a planet. But they're just all different colored beads and stuff. Honey, a shot of whiskey and my tea three times a day and call me in the morning. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. So this is fun. It's just broke though. Just <laughs> That's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. That's kind of cool. Kind of boho. All right, we're getting there. Ooh, that's different. What is that? Okay, I'm going to save that. How much for the green necklace statement piece? Um, message me. Message me, Vicky. <laughs> we'll work it out because if I won't wear it, I want it to go to a good home. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to set it right to the side. Yep. <laughs> okay, next. I'm saving the. Ooh, what is this for in just a second? We've got some princess beads. We've got, what else? Oh, that's a pretty earring. I hope the mate's in there. I see a ring. I don't always find rings in jewelry jars, but sometimes there's really cute ones. So there's this ring, but the it's this kind of, this metal, but it's been bent and it's worn. It's unfortunate because it's a kind of a cool front. I mean, maybe somebody wouldn't care, you know, because you can't really see the back that much, but maybe I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's so big. I don't think I would wear it. <clears throat> it's cool though. Let's see. You're going to keep the green necklace. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'll probably won't keep it. I'll probably sell it because I know me. I know I won't wear it, even though it's really pretty. I just love that green. So here's another necklace like that. Cute. That kind of coral, coral color. Reaching in again. What have we got? Some music notes. Oh, they move. That's fun. So these little music notes move around on here. Can you see them? Ta-da! That's cute. That'll sell. Definitely. I had a um, men's, what was it, a tie bar or a tie tack with music notes on it, and that went really quick. I think it was a piano. No, it was music notes. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's see. I have to pause a minute. I believe the necklace you thought was a belt or, or the V for a teepee hang tag. Oh, maybe Sopata. Okay, okay. I'll double check that. I will. Okay, you're right, because they have that little like arrow looking thing that goes like that. I'll have to pull it back out. Let's see. Really cute Hello Kitty bracelet. That's adorable. I don't have a girl. Ooh, ooh, please, please, please. Okay, I'm gonna save that. That's gonna be my teaser. Ready? I'm gonna flash it. I'm gonna flash it at you and it'll be a teaser. Right, that was just a teaser. Please let the mate be in there. That's what I'm saying to that. Oh, and it's got to be at the bottom of the jar, too. Okay, so next, we'll that'll be the tease for in a minute. We've got this really cute watch. Oh, we definitely just made our money back. My, my little heart's going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> with that earring. So that's cute. Uh, Cecil is the brand on the watch with the beads. Very cute. All right, digging again. The maid is there. I'm going to set that right there. We'll save that to the end. I'm going to dump the rest out on my table right here. <clears throat> Yay! We got a winner. It's coming. You will see in a second. All right, here, here we've got some copper earrings. They would just blend right into my hair. <laughs> They're cute, though. Okay, those will go over there. I'll sell those. those will, these ones I'll sell, too. Look at those big old medallions. Can you see them? Hang on, let me hold it still. These big medallion earrings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know who they remind me of? Professor Trelawney from Harry Potter. <laughs> Professor Trelawney might like those. What is this? Okay, that's going to the side till I figure out what it is. And what are you? We've got some earrings here that I'm trying to match up. I don't know what that was. Okay, some bracelets. <laughs> well, considering your excitement, I'm very happy for you. Give cancer the boot. Oh, yes, definitely. I've known too many people lately I, I, uh, that are young women getting cancer, which is not cool. So somebody may have to fill me in on this. This is a cross. It looks like there's something in there. It looks like a toothpick, but maybe it's not. Is it a piece of a scroll? Is it something scripture? I've never, or is it, is it sand? Maybe it's sand. 
It is sand. Okay. It's like some sand in there. There's probably something that re this is a reference to that I just don't know what it is. So, but it's cool. So I will sell it. <laughs> as soon as I find out, I'll have to find out what that is. Oh, what is it? Is there a scripture about a grain of sand? I, I bet there is. Let's see. It looks like Chinese coins, right? Aren't they fun? So here is a stretchy bracelet that will go into a lot. It's missing bits and it's all maybe sand from Jerusalem. Time is running out. Yes. Okay, we've got some really cool shell earrings. Probably sand from Israel. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll look it up. These are really cute earrings. I could see somebody really liking those. So I'll sell those. Man, I think we're definitely going to make our $12, $12.99 back. Then. Hang on, I've got a little, oh, no fall, what was it? It was an earring. Okay, I saw what it was, it's cool. We've got some black beads over here. Ashes of a loved one, maybe? Oh, possibly, ooh, and I couldn't sell it. I don't think I could sell it. This looks like it wants to be cinnabar, but it's not, right? So it's this rose, it's probably like a resin. We just had this conversation in the jewelry group. <laughs> resin versus plastic. Yep. But it's pretty. Look at that. So cinnabar-esque rose with turquoise beads. It's really pretty. There is no maker's mark. But it's really nice. Ta-da! Ashes the loved one. Wrong color for ashes, one which lady says. <sighs> okay. Then these earrings, which are pretty cool, and they're not the ones that I was just flashing at you. But I could see someone really liking these as well. So these will go up. They're cool. Like that. What is the word I'm looking for for those? Oh, it's missing a bead. Never mind. There's a there's a missing stone there. So those will end up in a lot. I know they could be fixed, but I, I know I won't do it. Okay, then. Hi, 63 viewers. We've got these. These are kind of cool. Oh, okay, you be, you've been keeping too much lately, young lady. You need to sell these. These are very unusual. Okay, take a look at these earrings, I believe. So this is what they look like. This is the front side. And then this is the back side. Is that unusual? I think they are unusual and cool. And somebody's going to love them. They're really, they're different, aren't they? The backings are throwing me, but they're awesome. Okay, and they're like a brass earrings. Don't forget, oh yes, thanks one witch lady. Hit the thumbs up. This was the other earring that fell a second ago. This is, that's really weird, I think. Because then when you wear them, because you're going to wear them like that, the pearl part's in the back now. Nobody can see it. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> so Who knows, right? Okay, so these earrings are next. They are very blingy. Very, very blingy. Very cool. Unusual backside. <laughs> That's what she said. He's got a very unusual backside. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. I kind of like those. Ah, I'm going to drop them, though. Then these are marked. What does that say? Hang on. Let me see what it says. Napier. Okay, these are Napier, which is a good costume jewelry brand. You love the blingy ones, our Joe says, right? Aren't they super blingy? They're fun. So those ones are Napier. That's a good brand. We've got some little peace hearts. Cute. Then we've got this little bracelet that's missing some beads on it. The bracelet part looks promising, but I can't find No, nope. Okay, never mind. And we're getting closer so I can show you another one of these. <clears throat> These are really cute too, these little earrings. They're clip-on and they've got this little ball that hangs. I do not see a maker's mark. Let's see if they're magnetic. They are magnetic. I'm getting closer. I'm gonna show you like three more things. And then I'll show you the ones. The peach hearts will peace hearts will sell. Oh, cool. All right, so this is one of those like wrapped paper bead bracelets. Look at these. Okay, these were ones that are super unusual. They are leather and they have these faces on them. How about that, right? 
they're not triple X, they're quadruple X. Very tribal, I don't know what tribe though, but unusual, right? Okay, <gasps> one more before the showstoppers. <laughs> All right, we've got these earrings that are screw back, like so. And these are marked, oh, these are Sir Von Dell Sterling. Oh, that's cool. I was not anticipating these to be sterling, so I'm going to have to look up Von Dell. That is, here we go, one more time. Von Dell. Do you guys know that one? Is it Von or Van? I have it upside down. Van Dell, V A N D E L L, sterling. Ooh, okay. I'm going to be looking that maker up. That's a new one for me. Okay, you guys, you ready? We never did find the mates for those, so they get to go over there. <gasps> look. Okay, you ready? Oh my gosh, these are sterling silver signed Native American earrings or Southwest, one or the other. That green stone, how about that? And those little coral beads, Re Reeve or Revy, R E with the accent to you <laughs> or accent over it, R E V E. I'm going to have to look up that maker, but these are amazing. Of course, I would not wear them. But they're so awesome. What is that green stone? Okay, that's going to drive me nuts because I know it's like on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. There is a green turquoise. Aren't they cool? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so these were in the jewelry jar that I bought for $12.99. That will probably, I mean, my guess is that these are going to be at least, at least 60 bucks, if not more. Depending on the maker, I got to look that up. So I will let you know. Aren't they cool? And of course, they're in the bottom of the jar. I never even saw them. Very, very cool. Ha! Ah, yay. Okay, so that was the jar. We did it. <laughs> we emptied this jar. We found some silver. We found some signed sterling earrings. Those were the winner. These are going to be the winners, I think, <laughs> right here. Those ones. And then I've got to learn who Van, I forget what it says because I can't read it. It's too tiny. I'll have to find out about those ones too. Malachite. No, malachite's a darker green and it's more banded, like stripey, you know? <clears throat> there, there is some white in them. You see that in white? But it's not like howlite. Like howlite is a stone that they'll dye to be turquoise colored. It's not howlite. It is something else. So I'm going to look it up. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't think of what it's called though. I, I'll find out though. I'll find out. Um, so yeah, if you don't, let's see, uh, those in the and Dick and Vandell will be your winners. Where'd the and Dick go? It's back in here. I'll have to dig it back in. I'm going to look that up too because that's a new one for me. There we, we learned two new jewelry designers and one new Southwest designer for sure. So I'm going to pull them out. If you don't, <clears throat> Green Moonstone. I'll have to look and see. I don't, I'll look and see. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I'm Texas Gal Treasures and also on Instagram, Texas Gal Treasures. So I'll post pictures and let you know what I find about this. I'm also, I also run a group called International League of Thrifters on Facebook. So go join over there. Find me again on Facebook. And if you have not subscribed, go down there and hit the subscribe button. And if you are new and you're wanting to catch one of these live, whether one of my jewelry videos or I do videos on other stuff live as well. Hit the little bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And gosh, guys, thanks so much. I can't wait. I'm going to go look these up right now. So thanks, everybody, for coming to hang out with me today. Hit that thumbs up. And if you're here later, leave me a comment. Just let me know you are here because I like to know who is here. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Bye.